Chapter Three. Quadratic Equation in One Unknown, Part Two. In this video, I would like to introduce the second method of、uh, for solving the quadratic equations, which is called the method of completing the square. Okay, let's see one example. How to solve x plus two all square is equal to six.、Uh, in this question, we can solve it by using some junior form topic without using factorial method. For example, I know x plus two all square is equal to six. I can take square root on both sides, so x plus six is equal to positive or negative root six.、Uh, and then I can minus two on both sides. X is equal to negative two plus or root six. Or negative two minus root six. In fact. Uh, if we expand it, and then change, go back and、uh, change to the general form. This is the original、uh, quadratic equations. That means if I want to solve this quadratic equations, I can reverse the directions and solve it. That means if I know how to combine this term to be a perfect square, then I can make this x plus two all square. So if you remember, in S two we have already discussed that、uh, two identity, which is equal to a plus b square is equal to a square plus two ab plus b square. We can make good use of this this identity if the first term x square is equal to this term, and then the second term. For x, if this is equal to two a b, I can think about if I can add one term for this two term so that we can group this two term to be a perfect square. This is called、uh, the method of completing a square. Then, how to find this term? If a is equal to x. The second term is four x. That means it's two times x times something, and then this term is equal to two. Okay, because this term is four x. So if this is the first term is x square and this is four x, so that means b is equal to two. So go back to the questions. If b is equal to two. I can change the form like this. I add two square because you add two square, you need to subtract two square. <coughs> so this three term, we can make good use of this identity, which is equal to x plus two all square, and then minus minus two square minus two. That means minus four minus two is equal to minus six. Then I can change the questions become this form. I can solve it. So remember, if you want to make good use of completing a square, we have some basic technique, or you can follow the following step. For example, consider these equations. What can we do? We can because I want to make a square. Okay, so. I want to change the coefficient of x square become one first. So I divide two on both side. So this is x square plus four x minus three over two is equal to zero. Second, I need to add one term to form the perfect square, and then and then if you remember. Uh, the relationship between b and the coefficient of x, okay, we need to take out two, take out two, take out two to form two a, and remaining is b, so we can divide. Okay, add one term which is equal to the coefficient of x divided by two. After adding 
two square here, then we can make a perfect square terms. And then move all the terms to the right hand side and take square root on both sides. Remember, you need to consider positive and negative case, and then minus two on both sides. So very complicated. I want to demonstrate one more question. Page six. <clears throat> Example three point five. Solve these equations. So step one, uh, remember I need to make the coefficient of x squared is equal to one. But this question, x, uh, the coefficient of x squared is already uh, been equal to one. So I can skip the first step, second step. I need to add one term. I will consider the coefficient of x. Try to divide by two because I want to find two from a two time x time two. Okay, remain two. So I need to add one term, <coughs> which is equal to two square minus two square minus seven is equal to zero. So for the first three term, a square plus two a b plus b square, then done. Which is equal to a plus b all square. And then right hand side is equal to negative eleven uh, negative eleven and then move to the right hand side. So add eleven on both sides. Take square root. We have positives and square root or uh, positive and negative square root of eleven. So minus two on both sides. This is the final answer. Okay, example three point five. Let's do one more question. Step one, change the coefficient of x squared become one. Can you see? This time this is three. So dy three on both sides. X squared plus four x minus eight over three. Is equal to zero over three is equal to zero. Second, add one term. Obvious, add four. Just like the previous one, I jump one step. Then I can combine these two. Okay, plus 20 over 3 on both sides, take square root, and then minus 2. Uh, if you remember, we need to do the rationalizations and then simplify, simplify it. So, square root of 20 over square root of 3, I need to multiply square root of 3 on both sides. Uh, sorry, on the denominator uh, to the denominator and numerator. So negative two plus or minus. Uh, wood twenty we can change to four times five and take square root. And according to the property, square root a times b is equal to square root a times square root b. So it's two root five. So two root five times root three over three. Done. This is the final answer. Try to do the four exercise four. Remember, pause the video after finishing, and then you may play the video and check your answer. Okay, four exercise four. The coefficient of x square is equal to one, so we can do the step two. Think about the coefficient of x, and then divide by two. Four divided by two is equal to two, so I need to add two. Uh, square on both sides. Now we can change x square minus four x plus four, which is equal to x minus two all square. Then which is equal to eight. Take square root on both sides. Plus or minus two root two, and then plus two on both sides. How about question B? Part B. Divide two on both sides, and then make good use of the identity. X square plus two times x times one point five. Plus 1.5 square minus 1.5 square is which is equal to negative 3 over 2. So move uh, another term to the right hand side, simplify it, and then you can find the answer. <laughs>